I have part two of my VIB Rouge sale haul. I placed two orders sort of on the last day of the sale to make sure I got everything I wanted. And because I live in Canada, I didn't get these until maybe about a week ago. So that's why this haul is delayed a little bit. I'm also thinking of doing almost like a review based on my two hauls, talk about the products that I loved out of all the items I got and talked about the products that maybe I didn't love as much as I thought I would. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments below. I might do individual reviews on some of the items as well, but I figured a nice sort of regrouping at the end might be necessary. I want to play around with these items a little bit more before I do that review, so you probably won't see it for a week or two, but I definitely am thinking of going to do it because I have some opinions on some of the items that I got and I definitely wanted to share it. So let's get into the last items I got at the sale. So the first thing I picked up was the Too Faced Hangover RX. This is the replenishing face primer. This is the one that is silicone free and it has coconut water, electrolytes, and probiotics. I was really interested to pick this up because I wanted a face primer that didn't have a ton of silicones in it and I specifically wanted to mix this with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops so I wanted to see how that worked with this and I've just heard such good things about this. A lot of people rave about it and I figured it'd be a nice alternative to a thick moisturizer maybe in the summer months so I could put this on before I put on some light foundation or a BB cream or something like that. I got one lipstick in the bunch and this is actually my first full-size bite lipstick. I did get the sort of little duo sided lipsticks during Christmas time but I wanted to pick up this color specifically. It's in Kava or Kava? However you want to say it. It's more of a deeper nude color but it has almost like lavender undertones. It reminded me a little bit of the sort of Lime Kime Cashmere or Gerard Underground sort of tones so I wanted to pick that up. I really enjoyed this formula and this color was unique enough for me to pick it up in a full size. I haven't really tested it out or played with it much yet. I did test it out in the store on my hand before I picked it up to make sure it was a color I liked but I haven't played around with it too much. I actually forgot I even had it because I had this sort of separate from the rest of my makeup to make sure I did this haul and not forget anything. I did also pick up the Embryolease the Late Cream Concentrate. This is really popular on YouTube. Uh, the Pixie Woo Sisters I feel like first made it famous and everybody just went on and on about it. It's a little bit harder to find because it is I think a French brand or something like that. Yeah, it's made in France. But I have really dry skin and so do the Pixie Boo Sisters and they go on about this so I definitely wanted to pick it up. I feel like it could be really nice mixed with the custom cover drops by Cover FX or even just on its own. Sometimes uh, my skin gets really dry so you can see like the foundation or any kind of BB cream powder or anything on my skin. So I thought that maybe this would be nice to put on before I put on any of those. One of the items that I was actually most excited to purchase and I actually purchased this one like a day after the sale because it was sold out and then magically came back on which was totally the bane of my existence but you know you know how makeup is um, and that is the Giorgio Armani Mastro Liquid Summer this one has SPF 15 but essentially I think it's similar to their foundation I've never tried the foundation in the dropping formula but it has like a dropper to it and you drop a few drops out and either mix it in with your foundation or you just like put it all over your face in sort of the bronzy areas I love the Chanel Bronze Universal or like whatever that is called so I figured that this might be a really good sort of alternative although I, when I say alternative I don't mean like a cheaper or a different option it's just I love that product so much so I figured I would probably really love this and again I haven't even tried it out yet I was like so dire to get it but I haven't even tried it out because I just forgot I even got it because I had it in a separate spot for this haul I will definitely have to try it out I think it will be amazing for the summer and it's nice that it has SPF you don't find a lot of things that have SPF like this. It also has a little bit of a shimmer to it, nothing that's crazy. I would say similar level of shimmer to the Chanel one if you have ever tested out the Chanel Bronze Universal, the one that comes in the cream. Very similar shimmer levels so you don't have to worry about looking overall like a disco ball or anything like that but I think it's a really pretty product. I also picked up one more Kevin Aquan product. I really enjoyed the two Kevin Aquan products that I have already so I wanted to test this out and for some reason this is a lot cheaper than the rest of their line. This is the Kevin O'Quan the Creamy Glow Duo. So it's the Sculpting Medium and Candlelight in a cream formula. It is super tiny. Like uh, this cream contour you can go through probably in like no time at all. But I just thought it was a little 
cute convenient packet if you're going to be traveling or anything like that and I enjoy the powder version of the sculpting powder so much and I've always wanted to try the candlelight powder so I thought that this might be a good way to try it and I love cream products especially for contouring especially with my dry skin so I was really interested to try this. I will be featuring this in a video soon. I'm going to be comparing all the cream contours that I have just to show the different tones that they all can have and if you're looking for a specific tone you can pick based off that. And then the last three things I got were all NARS. I sort of went on a NARS rampage. I got two palettes here and one of the new NARS blushes. So I'll start with the new NARS blush. I got this one in Craving. I actually was not interested in to get these at all. Like I didn't think that I would like them at all but so many people talk about them in YouTube and one of my friends actually has one of these and she talked really highly about them so I was really interested to pick up these. I picked up the color in Craving. So that's the one with the highlight on one side and sort of the bronzing shade on the other. I really love bronzers and I really love more of a nude blush, especially for the summer ones. So I figured this would be a nice one to pick up. I have an abundant shade of pinky sort of like goldy blushes. So I thought that having a blush that's more on the bronzy side would be a nice thing to add to my collection. So the first NARS palette I picked up is this one. This one is called the Virtual Domination Cheek Palette. It's the one that came out recently. So of in the winter months at the end of last year and this is the one that has Laguna right here so a big thing of Laguna which is one of my favorite bronzers so it's always good to have that so it has a highlight shade right here which is quite glittery it's called Miss Liberty I'm not a huge fan of the glittery highlight I like the NARS Albatross a little bit better but I think I can still make it work and it's just a nice palette to have a highlighter or bronzer and three blush colors I do have these two blushes in full sizes so the top one is deep throat and the bottom one is Final Cut. Final Cut and then this one, this like sort of lavender one which is called Sex Fantasy were released uh, last year, earlier last year. I was unable to get my hands on Sex Fantasy and I really wanted that color because it's just the prettiest light lavender color. Pretty much I would say I almost bought this entire palette for this one blush because I wanted it so bad but I think that this would be really nice for travel and it's nice that you can mix the blushes easily and sort of just have it all in one palette. And then the last palette I got is this palette. This palette's been out for a really long time and it was limited edition at the time. You can't, I don't think you can find this one in stores anymore but I did see it online so I decided to pick it up because a lot of people talked about it. I heard mixed reviews about it but a lot of people did say it's good. So it's called the Narcissist Eye Palette and this one has quite a few different NARS eyeshadows. I don't have too many of the NARS eyeshadows. I really enjoy the ones that I do though. I have a few of the singles and either one or two of the duos and I think the quality is really nice so I was interested to try the quality of this and this one is a really nice neutral palette it has really pretty colors you can do a little bit more of a warmer color on the bottom and then more of a cooler tone color with the grays I think it would be really nice for traveling and just a really nice palette to have I haven't really tested out any of the shades yet but I'm really interested to do so and I figured if I didn't like it and the quality was not up to par normally with the rest of the NARS eyeshadow I could return it so that was everything I got from the VIB Rouge sale that happened earlier this year. I am so far really excited for everything I got. I do need to test out everything a little bit more and hopefully I can do an overall review of all the items I got telling you my opinions because there are a few items that I've already tested out quite a few times that I have opinions on and I definitely want to share them. Make sure you subscribe so you can see that review video coming up shortly and thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned!